Alright guys, so, uh, I want to talk about, uh, Internet Explorer 9. Now, it's supposed to be released at, uh, 9 p.m. Pacific Time, or midnight, uh, Eastern Time, uh, March 14th. And, uh, basically what I want to show you is, uh, well, we're here at the, uh, Microsoft site to download the release candidate or the latest release candidate now uh, The final copy should you know have all the quirks ironed out and all the such and what you're looking at is actually Mozilla Firefox now I'm a uh, Firefox devotee and I just really wanted to check out uh, Internet Explorer to see uh, what type of uh, updates uh, They have here so what you're looking at is uh, Internet Explorer 9. You see we have the toolbars here, uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, a couple of other things here. But what I want to check out is uh, the actual speed. And uh, wow, it looks uh, pretty fast here. It loads up, it renders everything pretty, pretty nice. Um, actually, I want to go ahead and check out my website at www.17sleeve.com. And uh, let's see how things are rendered here. Uh, Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox are uh, notorious for rendering uh, the same objects differently. And if you're a web designer, uh, you know, you would have to have uh, take into consideration uh, basically the differences in layout and uh, basically HTML um, between uh, Firefox and Internet Explorer. But it uh, looks like my site uh, rendered correctly. And... Uh, Let's see here. Let's check out the speed of this thing here. Now, by default, it's got Bing, uh, their proprietary search here. Uh, I'm a lover of Google. Who isn't? Uh, gotta love Google, right? And so, uh, let's check out Google. Let's see how this looks. Let's look at uh, Google Real Time here. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, hello, kitty. And uh, look at that. You know, like uh, everything pretty much populates and everything's pretty fast here. Internet Explorer. Looks really, really fast here, and this is just a release candidate. Um, Got to see how it handles downloads. So let's go ahead and uh, see if it handles downloads like uh, Mozilla Firefox. So let's go to Microsoft. Uh, let's see here. Uh, go to Download Center. And uh, let's just see how it goes ahead and uh, downloads here. Uh, Just pick something uh, out of random, you know. But I like here actually is uh, this toolbar down in the bottom. It's basically an alert box and uh, lets you know, hey, do you want to download this? Yes or no. You can hit open. You can hit save, save as, save and open, or you can hit cancel. And there you go. Um, I kind of like that layout. Uh, you know, Mozilla Firefox does it a little differently. Uh, if we go ahead and we go to do download now. Uh, takes you to the page here. Uh, you might want to be aware when you're downloading uh, the release candidate or the final copy. You want to make sure uh, you select the right version, whether it's 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. I'm actually running Windows 7 64-bit. Now let's see how Mozilla handles the download here. Uh, gives you an alert box, a little pop-up, something that I'm used to. Uh, pretty intrusive. Uh, so I would have to say that I like the way uh, Internet Explorer handles that. Now, again, this is just a released client. I uh, just wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, let's see here. Uh, how fast does it render site? Uh, let's uh, go to... Uh, and it looks like it renders uh, pretty pretty seamlessly. Uh, it got some empty space here. Uh, there you go. That loaded. Uh, one of the things that I want to ask you is uh, to install uh, Internet Explorer's proprietary Silverlight. You might want to go ahead and do that. Silverlight's pretty cool. Or I guess uh, Microsoft's incarnation of uh, Adobe Flash. Uh, well, actually, it's more HTML5 compliant. Uh, looks like it, it renders things pretty well. Uh, a little slow here. Uh, let's see here. Um, it's doing a pretty good job rendering. Again, this is just a release client. Uh, would definitely love to see benchmark tests. But uh, guys, if you're looking to go ahead and download uh, Internet Explorer 9, just uh, go to Bing or Google, type in uh, IE9, uh, go ahead, go to the site, uh, see what uh, you need to know. 
uh, basically at PCWorld.com does a good job in explaining everything and what you need to know. Uh, it's a little more of the same and uh, a lot less of what you might be used to. Uh, we'll actually put this to the test of the long haul as you know Internet Explorer is notorious for hacks and uh, you know hack jobs and basically compromised security so it'll be interesting to see how Internet Explorer 9 handles all that. Anyways just uh, wanted to do a quick video here about Internet Explorer 9. Uh, make sure you get your download at 9 o'clock Pacific time. Take it easy guys.